This is part of the end state. Where we are in terms of customs will be decided between now and October. It's going to be part of the negotiation. Uh, and this customs partnership is one of those clever ideas that sounded plausible when first looked at, and when the detail is examined, it turns out to be deeply unsatisfactory, flawed, and not to get us out of the European Union, so which therefore, is, of course, what people voted for. Right. So, therefore, you could not possibly support that. And I'm putting words in your mouth. I'm assuming you could not possibly support that. And, therefore, if Mrs May insists that that is what she wants, and that's the advice apparently she's getting at the moment, you have a choice, don't you, between, OK, supporting her or saying, no, we are not going to support you, and that could ultimately, ultimately bring her down. Well, fortunately not, because Monsieur Barnier has said that he doesn't think this customs partnership will work either. So I think it'll it takes, wither on the vine. It takes two to tango. I, as I say, I think this is one of those ideas that when first proposed sound quite, sounded quite interesting, the details of which simply don't work. It's been rejected by the European Union. It is being looked at now in every detail, and the paper that was produced by people helping the ERG, is a very powerful and well-argued paper. It's now been circulated... That's your own group, ERG, by the, the way. European European Research group, group. I'm sorry, yes. Uh, it's now been quite widely circulated, and more and more people, including a lot of the leading newspapers today, have realised that this customs partnership is the single market by another name, and therefore will not deliver on the Conservative Party manifesto of last year or the Prime Minister's other commitments. And I have every confidence that the Prime Minister will stick to the commitments she made in the manifesto but, but, and in her other speeches. 